video, we're going to explain to you how we taught the Gruffalo as an English unit. We're also going to show you some additional activities that link to other areas of the curriculum. A mouse took a stroll through the deep dark woods. A fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Our first step was to teach the children the story and to learn it off by heart. We did this through following a story map, acting out the story with masks and taking the children into the woods and hunting for the story characters. Computing, to support children in remembering the order of the story, we made a Gruffalo map and used B-Bots. The children programmed the B-Bots to meet each character in the correct order. The main focus of this unit was to introduce exclamation marks and question marks, so firstly we hunted for these in the text. Next, the children wrote a list of questions that they wanted to ask the Gruffalo. We dressed up a child in a Gruffalo costume and used hot seating. Our second focus was to learn about rhyming words. The children matched words that could be used later on to describe the Gruffalo. The next step was for the children to write out the original story using exclamation marks, question marks and rhyming words. To support this, the children made their own story maps and they retold the story using Flipgrid in Microsoft Teams. During the second week, the children adapted the story. Instead of having a Gruffalo, they chose a new name and design for their main character, which rhymed with Gruffalo. For example, a Buddylo or a Puffalo. They then wrote rhyming sentences to describe their new main character, and we created a supported sheet which already had rhyming words on to support children who found this more difficult. The children then chose new animals to replace the fox, owl and snake from the story. We created a story map template so the children could draw their new characters in preparation for their writing. The children then used their adapted story maps to write their own version of the Gruffalo story using question marks, exclamation marks and rhyming words. As an additional project, the children created small worlds to tell their story. They used Microsoft Paint 3D to draw their new Gruffalo character and made QR codes that linked to photos of their writing and that linked to a video of the class telling the story. To finish the unit, the children made and painted a clay model of their favourite character. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video and remember to subscribe to the Danesfield School YouTube channel.